Welcome to uh, Team Worship Reviews. Now, I'm obsessed with ordering things. But don't tell the wife. Anyway, I've, uh, I've been a bit of a naughty boy. I know I was trying to cut back, but I couldn't help myself. I love my other Tyrannus. But I like this one more. No, I like this one more. I also like this one, but I do like this one more. I'll explain, but for the price, this is a serious bit of kit. I've, I had it yesterday, got it out of the box. I haven't even done the, uh, done the springs. I'm not gonna do a mod or a video on how to adjust the sticks because I think you've all seen that what I've got it for is because it looks good that's besides the point what I've got it for is what I want to do is I want a general purpose throw it in the bag uh, transmitter my Tyrannus is good my uh, but this I thought it's nice it's compact the this the rubber feel on the back of that is superb it's uh, the quality is better than I expected. I wasn't sure the buttons, navigation buttons. I, I'm used to using my uh, my my ultra harness, and I've got used to the, the the buttons. I used to get confused, and I'd go through the wrong press the wrong button. I'd be going through the pages and the screen instead of going it's in the menu button. Got in a bit of a state, but this the button arrangement on this is bang on. I give them the dues. They've done a really good job. So. Thumbs up, free sky. Um, screen is a little bit smaller, but you don't notice it. So I've got no issues there. You can see there's uh, you know, a few little refinements. They got rid of uh, the the sliders, the, 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 the thumb on the sides. Um, never really used them. I used them for a camera gimbal control once, but not really my thing. Um, but you still got the knobs on the top anyway. So obviously you need to control the volume on the music. Welcome to Open TX. Throttle warning. There you are. Throttle warning because it's halfway up. Now, as I said with the menus, page, and then you can you can scroll down your models with the with the wheel. Uh, if you press page, you go through the menus the same as you would with your Tyrannus. Like I said, the fonts are nice and clear, everything's bright and no issues. Press and hold goes backwards through the menu options. If you're familiar with um, the OpenTX setup, you will fly through this. Exit over there. Now, if you press and hold the menu button, you go into the radio setup. You set the dates. Like I said, the wheel is easy. You can scroll down, blah, 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 blah. All right. Now, if I go to page, I go to all the, I can see the memory card, the firmware details. If I go to the next one, global functions, you can configure uh, my throttle, uh, my trainer settings. And then the version, if you look, my version now is 2.2 uh, on version 3.6.8. Happy days. Right. And the date of this firmware is 10th of the 4th, 2017. So it is very, very, very current. I'll go to the next page and you'll eventually come to the calibration screen calibrate the battery there so if you measure the the battery voltage and uh, these are obviously the sticks in uh, in this digital form and hardware rudder sticks blah 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 and you can go to the calibration so I can calibration sticks quite good to calibrate it with it sprung in the center because you always get it um so i'll exit out of that i will now go into page no see I go into menu I go into the model test and then I will go page I will then scroll upwards till I get to there you are I've got D8 LR12 and D16 and then off so I've now got the full package on there so I can I can use my D8 
Um, so it's the EU compliant LBT, but I've re-enabled the, the D8 because I've invested a lot of money in the D8 receivers and it's going to take me time to upgrade them all. Um, I don't think there's firmware updates for the uh, D4R2s as yet, but as I move on, I will change them uh, to SBUS type. So that is basically it. Nice rubber uh, block at the bottom. Nice easy menu system. Right, so I hope that was helpful. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. However, these are nice radios. These are good quality radios. The gimbals on this with the upgrade is superb. And as you can see, I've given it a little bit of uh, orange fuel pipe and blinged it up a little bit. But this is not a replacement for this. This is to supplement it. So what I will what I will probably do is I'll set this for my quad. This will be my uh, my go to transmitter. Check it in the box. Use and abuse. I am hoping they will come out with the hall gimbals because I will be doing that upgrade if they come available. Oh, oh, this is another thing. To turn it off, you press a button and nothing happens. There's no switch. What you have to do is press and hold. And it's off. How nice is that? We don't want much in life. Just these little tweaks to make it all worthwhile. But... Do I like it? First impressions? First impressions, pretty damn good. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. For the price and what it does, it works in exactly the same way as my full size Tyrannis. You have the, oh, the box on the back, the pins, it's the JR modules. That was the only thing. I'm going to put a block of sponge on the back of that. So when it comes in, it's not, it doesn't sound so rat rattly. I mean, it sounds a bit rattly. That's my only criticism. The batteries I've got in it currently are standard batteries. That whole battery tray comes out and I can put a light bulb in it. So handy feature is that if you're on the flying site and your, your transmitter's gone, battery's flat. And you think, oh, bugger, what am I going to do now? You drop some uh, AA batteries in there. Job done. You're flying again. So, handy little feature. I'm going to fly with a LiPo. I'm waiting for a, um, a life battery to come out. That will fit in there tidy. Give me 1500 um, milliamps. So, I purchased this from t9hobbysport.com. I hope I've got that right. I keep getting his website wrong. Uh, I'll put the link below. And I would get order one. And if you haven't got them in stock, keep an eye out for when they're on pre-order. Uh, the guy's name is Richard. Email Richard. Because when they're in stock, I would, as soon as you see pre-order, hit buy. That's a normally an indicator that he's expecting them in that week. And you'll have it by the end of the week, as a rule. So thank you, Richard. Uh, if you're watching this, great mate, I love it. Um, yeah, and that concludes it. So the next one, I'll be transferring some models off my off my baby onto my new baby, and uh, and that will be coming up shortly. So don't tell the wife. Go buy one. Do it. Do it. You want it. You do.
Welcome to Team Bull Sheep Reviews. Now, everybody likes when the postman comes. Mm, that is alright.